Greetings and salutations, this is Ivan Dogovich with Let's Play Open XCOM Pirates. In episode 17, we are returning from our pogrom in the Abyss. And oh man, um, a lot of me thinks, geez, could I have made that? Um, could I have actually pulled that off with the enemies we'd seen? Um, maybe? Um, I was really surprised at how fortunate we were to drop the big, uh, the big Boomasaurus Reaper critters. I'm not sure if they were one of each or two of each or what we had there. Um, and we dropped some of the, the unarmored. There were enough of them, but then we had at least one guy in power armor that would have been get, we would have had to run up and hit him in the face a few times with a hammer probably. And I just, I don't know, uh, maybe we could have, I didn't, I didn't see the cyber discs I'd run into in previous uh, test pogroms and I just couldn't, I couldn't, uh, I couldn't overcome those. Those were just too, uh, too difficult. And I, I don't know, it's part of me just, I, I don't know, <laughs> maybe I could have. Anyhow, if you think I could have done that and uh, I, I've, actually, I've actually considered trying to go back into the save, the auto save, and play it for myself to see if I could. But uh, I kind of just don't want to do the spoilers. But if you think I could, please let me know. Let me know what you think about that last episode there. We were able to do a few things and grab a little bit of loot. There was probably a ton more really good loot. Laser weapons maybe I could have got a hold of. And stuff. But we didn't. So, well, there we are. Anyhow. Um, we are still moving toward the end of the month. I think uh, I've had some discussion on the forum or on the uh, the comments with John Paul. Uh, and I think February goes more than a, than the 28th. So again, we are over our limit um, in terms of what our costs are going to be and we actually lost a gal but i think i'm going to wait until the end of the month to rehire her martian max fell boy it's rough on rookies our most recent um our most recent um casualties have all been folks that have only had one or two missions blind butterfly spinner was new cutthroat scarlet was new and martian max was new but when they fell so of course, then one eye Priscilla, what a what a tragedy that was to lose one of our founding members and and the highest ranking of the crew. But uh, you are missed, and um, we will continue on without you. We will carry on. Um, okay, so looking good overall, I think. Um, let's fence. I, I looked through the stuff to fence. And, of course, the $20,000 gold credit chip is the one of the things we stole away with. And I will definitely fence that. Now, what I also got out of that was a Confederate Eagle. And just by price alone, this tells me that it's probably something fairly special. Um, it's at least as good as a Black Mark SMG. And I've seen comments in the forums that these are awesome... Um, so I am not selling this. I don't know how good it is. There's a longsword too, and I don't really know much about it. And maybe when the Bonnie gets back, we'll see if we can research them. But um, I'm just going to sell that one for 20. I've also got some of those plasma weapons and ship parts that I can sell off if we really hit um, a big hole at the end of the month. And again, like I think we're going here. Let's just get the Bonnie in. I want to see what I can research here. Okay, Bonnie's home. Do I need to have that stuff here? Um, long sword. Yeah, I have to research the long sword and the Confederate Eagle in order to make much out of it. Um, okay. Oh, I wonder. I wonder about these guys. Boarding torpedo. An assault transport. I thought that when we researched that encrypted data disk that we that we uncovered that. I'm not really sure the exact linkages between those shipping, boarding torpedo, and the other one is boarding torpedo documentation. So, yeah, I'm not quite sure. Not quite sure about this. Anyhow, um, we've got research cooking. We've got... Um, 
we've got runts making stuff we've got a little money and I think we will advance the time to the end of the month oh it does end at 27 okay so our balance is 197 we got a bump up of 93 um, the mate the nations of the world are bloody scared of you keep up the good work Confederation Eurasian Autonomy, an Iron Tribe, Euro Syndicate, Black March, Northern Federation, Central Province, Fusho, Ghost Gates, Dark Dominion, Death Realms, Hidden Expanse, Theban, Tyrant, Tyranny, Kingdom of Canada, California Republic, the, te the Technocracy, Latin Empire, Turin, Pirates, Straight Steel, Peck, and Red Revolution are particularly scared and agreed to increase the payments. The rogue fields thinks you're mostly harmless after all and decided to reduce them production payments. Okay, so we're in the hole um, a bit. And I think if I worked all month long, I'd get out of the hole, but really we're going to have to um, sell some stuff probably to get out of the hole. I think that's just what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and uh, sell it off. Sell off the good stuff. Sell off the good stuff. Um, heavy plasma. I'm sure it's valuable. I'm sure it's it would be great, but I have no idea how long it is until I can actually um, ever use it, and I don't think it's going to be soon. Um, I also can probably get rid of one of those, and we'll sell another slave AI here, and that's going to get us into the positive, and I'll feel better there. Um, if I'm making a huge mistake, please leave a comment below and tell me why, because I need to know. The more I know, the better I'll play. So, um, research complete. What do we have here? Um, quick mention, quick mention before we get this. So, really great write-ups in the forum thread on feedback um, from pirates. Uh, actually, uh, a viewer who saw my um, thread, saw a couple of my L a couple of these pirates videos um, install the game played it through get some great feedback awesome stuff half of it I don't understand more than that of course obviously and then there's another amazing link to a fan fiction I will um, include that I'll put it in a comment below um, really cool fan fiction written up on a pirates campaign and defense of their hideout oh my gosh it's terrific anyway just wanted to mention that that's a really cool I just got done reading that a little while ago it's amazing okay View reports the Theban Tyranny. The Theban Tyranny. Maybe this came from the data disk. Ah. Not much was happening in this desert country inhabited by what remained of the local Arabic peoples. Estimated 95% extinction. Until a ruler arose virtually out of nothing about two centuries ago. Styling herself as Cleopatra, she imposed her rule with the help of an extremely powerful battle mage. Both of them are said to surpass even the star gods in sorcery. Ick. <laughs> and kept herself and her most valuable servants alive and youthful through the means of arcane biotechnology. Said biotechnology was also used to breed whole armies of super soldiers and workers. This not too keen on thinking crowd was now constitutes most of the population to subjugate surrounding areas. A sole huge city of Thebes was built in the Nile Valley and its absolute mistress sitting on top of the Silver Pyramid has her eyes on new conquest. An eventual clash with the currently, currently leading local power, the Euro Syndicates, seems inevitable. Meanwhile, the rulers of Romantic Romanico frantically arm themselves and prepare for the worst. Wow, that's some cool background. So this is, yeah, this is next to the, um, what do you call that? And it was our data disk that gave us that. It's next to the mysteries. No, lore. Lore. It's in lore. Okay, so we know a little bit about the Theban tyranny. Um, interesting. Theban Tyranny, there we go. And Thebes, right there. That's where she be. And we got Romanico over here. And the Euro Syndicate. I see. Very cool. Nice background, nice lore. I like it. Okay. Gentlemen, Mr. Brainer, Mr. One Brainer available. 
Let us get you, sir, um, working on another encrypted... Oh, I want to do... I like to research the longsword. I don't know if it's better than my cutlasses. We do have one, so maybe it is. But I do want to research the data disk again, and we'll just keep researching those. What else do we have in here? I know I can research some of these rifles, and maybe we'll get to be start making them after we do basic bullet manufacturing. Plastisteel would be good again. I don't think I'll ever have money to build a hyperwave decoder anytime in the near future. Yeah. Okay. And we will do that. And we'll do that. We made a little bit of money. Because we're making money every day. That's good. But at this point... Well, shoot. Yes. Yes. Order. Order a new hand. Because I actually have a new viewer to come on. Um, who has signed up, which is awesome. Actually, somebody who signed up a while ago and somehow I missed them. So I apologize for that, but we'll get you in. So we'll get a new hand here. And we will um, also... a ah, basic armor complete. The warrior armor. 30, 30, 30, 30. Piercing, concussive, laser, dash, smoke is still bad. Uh... Coupled with mutant's inherent toughness, this armor allows to soak up quite a bit of small arms fire, but requires good strength and stamina. And even then, mobility loss is unavoidable. Wait, 12? No way, man. I'm not ever going to use this. I will tell you that right up. Warrior armor with 400% smoke penalty and all this weight is not worth it. I'll just go with pirate duds or smoke ops gear because... Um, no, I don't, I don't see any reason why I'd have people waddling around in heavy armor not able to do anything that's just barely a tick above the others. So, I don't know. Maybe drop it or nerf it. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, I researched. So, cooking by the book, leather armor. Poisons. Poisons. Let's get the poisons going. Aye. Average on that. Okay. We can now produce basic armor. What does it take to manufacture basic armor? Basic armor. Three scrap metal. Okay, what does it take to make a barbed dagger? Just a few work hours. I'd like to get some barbed daggers. They don't need them really right now, though. Due to the fact I'd like to get some crossbows, too. Some bows. Alright, um... Shoot. Okay, I'm going to make a run of a few things here. Oh, the crossbow needs scrap metal. The bow doesn't need anything. And But the bow is such a pea shooter, I don't really think it's going to be useful. Um, salt cannons. I'm probably going to get to the point where I need to get some more black powder bombs. Some more molotovs. Oh, uh, yeah interrogation stuff I'm not ready to interrogate anybody yet hmm well I don't have any scrap metal so I'm not gonna make a crossbows but I probably will at some point okay I'll just keep advancing time here ah <sighs> wait till our new hand arrives research complete base supply Wherever a secret base exists, it needs to be constantly supplied. Tracking a supply run to its landing zone is a surefire way to find a secret base. Okay. Smuggling. Okay, so these are um, some of the missions. Alright. That was another encrypted data disk. Do we have any more in data disks? One more, it looks like. Okay, we'll get that last one going. Average, good on poisons, and average on cooking by the book. All right. Blasphemous breakdown. <laughs> These names are amazing. Uh, to have, you could have such a fun time just with pirate names. Um, but we, this is this is the incognito name for traveling purposes only. We'll get this lass checked in right away and get her written on, as she definitely deserves. This here 
this fine lass, B, Rot Foot, Rudy, Ruby, Rot Foot Ruby. Welcome on board. This is Lord Falgren, your character, and you have decent time units. Stamina is not good. Bravery is okay. Reaction is okay. Fire accuracy stinks. Melee accuracy is good, though. So that's good. You'll get a K. Your strength is meh. Let's give you the pirate duds, because this will even increase your stuff there. Hmm. That or runt duds. Yeah, you're not really strong enough for smoky. We'll just stick with pirate pirate duds for now. That looks good. That looks good. Welcome on board, Rotfoot Rudy. Ruby. Rotfoot Ruby. Aye. Okay. So let us continue on here and see what else. We're making more money. So the other thing about here is I'd like to get another workshop in, and the workshops aren't cheap. It costs eight hundred thousand, so that's kind of out of the question. The other thing I would like to do is, well, I'll need more space for um, more peoples, and an outpost would give me, I think that's fifteen. Oh, Bootypedia, I keep forgetting these things. So the buildings, the outpost, gives us space for 10 bucks in 25 storage. Hmm. <clears throat> and, yeah, I'm not sure here. Um, if I got three, that'd be 30 bunks and 25 storage. And a barracks gives us 25, so it gives us one more, uh, or five more, um, five more people than just a barracks and the vaults give us up to 75 units um, so we'd be getting the same thing as one vault with three outposts and maybe cheaper just to, to build a barracks and an in a vault. Well, it's kind of close to the same. I'm, I'm not sure, but I do know that I would like to expand that a bit. I, w I eventually want um, another workshop to make more stuff. I'd like barracks to support it. That's 30 runs, so that's... A barracks holds 25, so we need maybe two more barracks, a couple more vaults. Yeah, so we've got a, a few hundred dollars worth of stuff to account for our monthly costs our income is 940 and our maintenance is 1200 so right now we're still sitting at a deficit of 300,000 so we need to make 300,000 throughout the month before we can really be in a decent place we can do that with manufacturing uh, but it doesn't give us a lot of time for other stuff anyhow Small, very low west. He's going kind of slow, which is nice. Going west. How west are you going? You're not... You're not coming after me again, are you? Why is it always at night? Why can't you just come during the day? For crying out loud. Let's go check you out. Not a fighter. That's good. Um... Yes. Night landing site? Definitely. Mm-hmm. Yes, indeed. Yes, 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 indeed. Okay. Excellent, Captain. We managed to sneakily land next to their ship. Any goods they're carrying are undamaged and ours are taking. Yar! Excellent. Okay. Um, I am probably going to tweak this a bit, so I'm going to pause this and come back in a second. Okay, I've only done a little bit of... Uh, overloading of the gals. I've given a few more some smoke grenades in their hands which um, I intend to use. Get some smoke up on the roof, get some smoke down on the ramp sooner rather than later. So let's get this puppy started. Ooh, desert terrain. End of the map corner. Okay, I like that already. Uh, fancy Drake. Um, I am okay, tiny. You are overloaded. I want you to grab this smoke and I want you to toss it right down. There. Good. That's a good covering. Whoop. We're missing right. We're missing one. Joe. 
you are also um you are also you can't get it up there okay let's get you coming up here take a quick look around don't spot anything looks like a ufo's right here that's good um oh not enough time units oh joe we left you totally exposed up there that's not what i intended to do okay um let's get some i know one of these folks here I think, there we go glorious harlock prime your grenade please can we survive the first step down yes we can you've got a grenade i want this smoke grenade to be tossed out to here come over here corner good okay good and Ta uh, jolly nelly i want you to come out here and i want you to get me some some light out here out of range okay good and run back all right i expect some of our gonna our gals are gonna drop in um in battle just thank you cap why aren't you carrying anything well that not good that weren't too smart uh nelly you got the fire i don't know that we're gonna need the fire uh stealthy you've got a sword um okay stanky i don't know why you're not carrying something you can shoot people with or hit them with you got the fisticuffs that's good um okay that's got incendiary rounds we'll fire one of those i like that we'll fire one of those out and i think i'm going to use some smoke rounds and see if maybe the bad guys will drop in smoke too i kind of want to do a heavy smoke operation this time around so come on up here if you would be so kind perfect thank you okay who else we got who else we got um stealthy you are a markswoman but you're just so uh low strength okay bloody adam um i think i'm gonna get you down come over here i think we're gonna put your stun rod in your hand right away too okay Let's see if we can stun some jokers stabby whoa ah uh! not good not good at all i did not even see that guy there okay big bertha can see him how come you guys can see him now and you couldn't see him a minute ago that's just wrong tiny step out of the way bertha can you aim shot this guy right in the face no not exactly but he got some smoke on him um okay robin you've got another smoke holy cats all right let's get this one down there now you can see him just stop already just stop already deja vu lily why don't you grab a knee and aim shot this over here and light him on fire no that's supposed to be him, not... Duh. You got another one? You don't. You don't. Okay. Okay. Uh, what do you got, Fancy? Um... Hmm. Take a knee and you aim shot him, too. Okay. Ah, still didn't catch him on fire. Um, okay, well, ladies, this isn't going quite as I had hoped. Not quite as I had hoped. I will say that. All right, who else do we have here? Jerkwater Janice. I think I'm going to wait for this smoke to get you ladies down here. Ooh, filthy casual. Yeah, you're supposed to be up top. Well, actually, this thing can't even snap fire, right? It needs 59 aimed. 
59. How about you run to this? Well, that won't be enough time to turn to there. No. Hmm. Come there. How about if you run to here? Good, you can see him. Let's take an aim shot with this sniper rifle. Boom! Nice. I like the sound of it. And you gotta hit. And I don't know if that's gonna drop him. If we're gonna lose a bunch of girls because he's just gonna come shooting and killing people. It's not cool. If he is. But, uh... Oh, well. Ornery Nicole. Yeah, we are not gonna run anywhere that he may actually spot us. Come back here. Yeah. Come to here. Okay. Whew. Out of his perspective line of sight, so he couldn't... He's not gonna just kill and reaction fire us. Okay! Huh. Ivan cross his fingers. No. I think we need a... I think we need a smoke grenade. Well... I was thinking we need it right here, because I'm not sure this smoke is going to billow up and protect us. Okay, let's just try. Let's just hope. Hope for the best, guys. Hope for the best. Smoke, smoke, smoke. Yay! Wandering around. Now we can strike him down. Ooh, stun rod. Stun rod. Stun taser! Go again. Nice! Oh, 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 a machine gun and a runabout documentation. Cool, 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 cool. A machine gun. A machine gun. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's so good. All right, nice work, my lass. Nice work. Okay. Yeah, that was good. Oh, okay. Stabby, I want more light, and you have the light. You can toss it out here, because I don't want to be surprised if I can help it. Take a peek through the smoke. Anyone? No. Okay. All right, you're still going to... We're still taking a lot of smoke damage, but I think we'll be okay. Harlock, do you have any more light? Well... You've got some flaming. Uh, aim it. Throw it. Aim it. Right. This is going to be a limited range, I think. Okay. Let's put it here. Okay. Good. And Joe didn't take any fire, which could be good. Let's throw this over on top of the... No. No. That's not where we wanted it. Okay. Joe, that didn't really help. Alright, Joe, take a step back to here. Do you have anything else you can really know? Just the flare. Well, the flare's not bad. And you're a strong gal, so why don't you give me a flare out to... here. Okay. Good. We'll get more eyes on out there. Um... Filthy casual, that was nice work. Come on down here. Uh, prime that grenade, please. Okay, we'll get you... Um, I, you're a sniper, and I've got you running around in the smoke, but I wanted you up on the smoke. Maybe we'll have you swinging things. And you did all that being overweight, too. That's... Lady, that's just impressive. That is just impressive. All right, stealthy... I think you're ready to go out and crack some heads. Let's get you down in the smoke. Nice. Do, 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 do. I love the music. Music is amazing. Um, I, I'm really kind of a little bit disappointed I didn't do that earlier. Okay, we got another uh, Big Bertha with the smoke ops. Yes. That's what I want. I want you with the smoke grenade. And I think I'm going to be able to drop a smoke round over here. So the accuracy's... 
<laughs> so horrible. Jeez. Oh, everybody out. Yeah, everybody out. Everybody out. Get out. Get out. Oh, gosh. Everybody's going to pass out and smoke his birthday. Hit the Bonnie. Holy cats. All right. Fancy drink. Come on over here. Oh, Lord. This is hilarious. Oh, man. Okay, so... Um... Oh, you're... Tiny, you're you're in Smoke Ops gear. Cool. Uh, I think I'm going to give you another grenade, though, but I'm going to move you up with the other smoky ladies. Um... It's... It, we're at the 30-minute mark again, and again, that's kind of my goal to, uh... Let's get you with a stun rod, too. To keep keep the uh, episodes to about 30 minutes. And um, it's going to take a bit more to finish up this, this tactical mission. We'll be able to sell some more gear and probably do some expansions on the base. But um, I am going to go ahead and put a cut in this one here. So I thank you for joining me for this 17th episode of Let's Play Open XCOM Pirates. You have been Manic Over Machine Guns with Ivan Dogovich. Cheers!